family. Welcome to the vlog, Stanley. Um, so we've arrived at our destination, which is called Upper Yard Barn, which I think is so sweet. We are in Cornwall for our only holiday this year. Come on then, Stan. Show everyone the way. Come on. There's a nice little seating area with a little fire pit. Gareth doesn't come included. Um, I found this place through K9 Cottages. There's another like courtyard here with a table and chairs. Lovely little kitchen. With the dining table. And then you go through to the lounge. There's a little basket of dog toys that Lola's already found. And he's killing a pig. We got Lola. This is our lounge. This is the dog's bed that we brought with us because they don't go anywhere without it. It's a cute little room. It's quite big actually. And then you go through here to like another entryway. Some storage, which takes you to like a utility area. So I think the um, purpose of this room is you can bring the dogs like right around here. That's my mother. You can take the dogs right around here and like wash them off. So if you've been to the beach or anything. I'm just looking through the drawers because I'm nosy. Here's Stan. There's some water in there, Stan. Another one. Here. Lola, do you want to show everyone upstairs? Do you want to show everyone upstairs? Come on then. Come on then. She's bringing the little pig with her. <laughs> She's made herself right at home. So this is like the front door. So this is a spare room that um, we won't be using, which is very cute. It's like a bee themed room, which I think is sweet. And then we have here the room that my parents are staying in, which is nice and tranquil. Each room has like a smart TV, um, a king size bed, which can also be turned into a twin bed. And then Where's our room, Lola? Is this our room? Is this our room? Yeah. And then this is our room. Very me with the sort of wood and black um, accented materials in the furniture. TV again, nice little fan. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. There's a farm, I think, just over there because we can hear some chickens. There's some horses up there. There's a few sheep. There's my mum. It's a beautiful place. Tranquil, quiet. Um, and like I said, we found this on Canine Cottages. Um, who are from Instagram. I'll link Canine Cottages and I'll link Apple Yard Barn as well. So if you're thinking of going somewhere with your dogs. Obviously, we didn't get to go away this year. We were supposed to be going to Mexico. Um, but obviously, we couldn't go. So we decided to go on holidays in the UK, a staycation with my parents and the dogs. What I also like, um, we're going to move this into the other room just so we can put the dogs crate in here. They have Google Homes in their bedrooms. So we um, use Google Homes in the house and we play like rain sounds to go to sleep and stuff. So the fact that they've actually got them here is fantastic. Um, and just here is the bathroom, so just shower, um, 
toilet and basin there. Do you enjoy it here, Lola? She's made herself alright at home. I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of where we are. I'm going to move the chair into here, I think. Let's go see what Stan's doing. Cute. It's such a big place. I love these shutter doors as well. I don't know if they actually... Oh, they do shut. Wow. Where's Stan? Stanley! Stanley! There he is. Stanley! Lola's not sharing Mr Pig. We'll have to buy you a Mr Pig, won't we? Yeah, this here. We've got a whole like box of toys that the dogs can play with, which I think is great. Oh, Lola's gonna love that. She loves balls like that. And they've also got over here, a little creative dog blanket. Brilliant idea. Obviously I know it's called Canine Cottages, so it's designed for dogs, but it's just lovely. Um, they've also left us this little hamper with different things in, so this pineapple juice, elderflower presse, which we all know I will love. And there's a little red wine, tea bags, shortbreads, some preserves, and some dog treats, which I think are so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, and they've also got like a coffee machine with some pods. They've left a nice hand soap. There's some milk in the fridge. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna have a little presse later sat here with the fire pit lit.
just two casual cockerels in Traeger Mills car park. And some statues. Garrison get packed. Um, it's a bit blustery today. The sun's out though. Um, so we've come to Trogal Mills in Liscard. I love that they've got like little statues. They've got cockerels chilling. Um, and the building itself is really um, like old fashioned. They've got a nice little stream. It's just a really nice place. Let me show you the front. Where's that cockerel? Who's that? God, look how big this one is. He's huge. God, look how big this cockerel is. What do you say? Cockerel. Oh my god, he's huge. Jester and Medivsa, and then this is the entrance. A lovely, this is so funny fashioned... here. Oh, there's an the Alice in Wonderland statue too. It looks like um, it's like very not Victorian, um, Georgian. Tudor. Tudor, yeah. Here's the Alice in Wonderland statue. So cool. I love that it has this little stream that runs all the way across it. Why don't you do it your side? He 
you mind doing it, Stanley? So we were just um, on the road and we saw loads of horses with foals and as we were driving up, I don't know if you can see in the background there, um, all the horses were wild as well. There's highland cows that are just chilling so I don't want to get eaten but I'm just not down this country. I want to try and get a little picture of them. There's three blood with one ginger. This is amazing.
I stand literally here behind this greenery is ducks and geese and they actually sell the goose and duck eggs. They're so fresh. It's lovely. Here's all the geese and ducks. There's also some cows up there. And a few horses. Amazing.